how the H sound got its letter. One day it was extremely cold in Alphabet Land. The castle grounds were white with snow and sparkled beautifully. Everyone had been outside all morning, playing in the snow. They had built an enormous snowman, sledged down the hill, and had a massive snowball fight, which only ended because Blunt threw a snowball in the Alphabet King's face. The King wasn't very happy about that, and ordered everyone inside for lunch. In the afternoon they played inside games. "'Let's play musical statues,' suggested Lucy. "'We all dance, and when the music stops we have to stand still like a statue. "'If we move, we're out. "'You can be the judge, Alphabet King.' "'All right, off you go,' said the King. "'Lucy was the winner of that game. "'The letters were too bouncy to stand still for long. "'Now let's play my favourite game.' said the Alphabet King. Musical chairs. There is one less chair than player. We run round, and when the music stops, everyone tries to sit on a chair. The person left standing is out. Then we take away another chair and play again. The letters cheered, and the King ordered the pencil guards to bring in chairs. When it was Blunt's turn to collect a chair, he noticed his had a wobbly leg. Let's make this game even more fun, Blunt thought, and smiled to himself. Let's see who sits on the wobbly chair. The game began. Each time there were not enough chairs, and someone was out. The Alphabet King was very good at it. Soon it was just him and Sam left in the game, and one chair between them, the wobbly chair. Blunt, watching from behind a pillar, held his breath. The music began again and Sam and the King moved slowly round the chair. They both wanted to be in front of it when the music stopped. Suddenly it did, and they scrambled for the chair. The Alphabet King sat down with a bump and gave a great cheer. The wobbly chair stood for a moment, and then... Crash! The chair broke, and the Alphabet King was toppled onto the floor. There was silence in the room. Everyone tried not to laugh at the King. Then from under his moustache came a giggle, which soon became a roar of laughter. "'Oh, dear!' said the Alphabet King, wiping tears from his face. "'But, you know, I, I can't sit here all day. I've got to make a shape for the huh sound.' Sam helped the Alphabet King to his feet. Then he picked up the chair. As he was holding it, Lucy said, "'That would make a good shape for the huh sound.' "'What?' exclaimed the King. "'Use a broken chair for a letter. "'Every time children tried to write it, it would fall over.' "'Not the broken leg. Another one,' said Lucy. "'The Alphabet King looked at the chair. "'Yes, I see what you mean. "'It's a, it's a lovely shape. Let's use it for the her sound.' "'The Alphabet King wrote the new shape into his book of letters. "'This letter shall be called H,' he announced. "'I am very pleased that it has good strong legs.' Then the Alphabet King clapped his hands, and there on the page was a capital H. "'That's a much less wobbly letter,' said the Alphabet King, "'perfect for starting sentences and names.' "'How would we write this letter so that it could hold hands with other letters?' asked the King. Sam wrote the letter in the air with his magic finger. "'Start with the lead-in line and draw right up to the top of the letter. "'At the top, go straight down,' then up again to the middle and over the top of the arch. Then flick the lead out to the next letter, and it's done. "'What a lot we've done on this happy day in Alphabet Land,' said the King. Early the following morning they visited the gallery of letters, where they saw the brand-new picture of the H letters. "'Look how straight and tall they look, standing on the red carpet in the castle in the picture,' exclaimed the Alphabet King. The little H goes into the first floor, and the capital letter reaches the roof. They're coming to life, cheered the twins, as the lowercase H jumped out of the frame, wobbled, and then stood up straight and looked around. Hello, he said. Hello, said Lucy, Sam, and the Alphabet King. Blunt smiled to himself. He got away with it this time. 